This is Battle of Giants, Mutant Insects. That sounds like a game title that I would have made up when I was making up game titles for random games that don't exist, but it does exist. I'm holding it in my hand. Battle of Giants, Mutant Insects. In a post-apocalyptic world, only this strong will survive. An asteroid has devastated the planet, leaving only ruins in its wake. From deep underground emerge the most resilient creatures the planet has known. The tree sloth with armor plating. That's a different game. But to survive these tattered lands, they, the mutant insects, must first survive each other. Huh, so they're like humans except less petty. These things remind me of sectars. This is on the Nintendo DS, and it's a pretty entertaining game. With a title like Battle of Giants Mutant Insects, and the cover artwork is terrific. How could it not be at least somewhat entertaining, but I found it very entertaining. Battle of Giants Mutant Insects. It's a game that's played exclusively with the stylus and touch screen. But the designers at least made a decision to stick with the stylus instead of forcing me to use the stylus and the buttons, which I can't stand. Stylus gameplay is not my favorite, but it works fairly well for this game. As you play through the game, you can upgrade your giant mutant insect. I gave mine racing stripes. So, what's the objective of Battle of Giants Mutant Insects? To save the Earth or destroy everything in sight? Or are they the same thing? You know, I'm not entirely sure. You select a giant mutant insect. There's four to choose from. Highly customizable. And guide them through the level using your Nintendo DS stylus. I named my mutant insect Robomantis because I could. After selecting and naming your mutant insect, you wander the levels, encountering enemy giant mutant insects and other surprises along the way. I fought a school bus. Really, if you, if you play the game, you'll see. I took that mutated yellow wheeled monstrosity to the Robomantis School of Hard Knocks. As you can see from this wide shot of Battle of Giants Mutant Insects, I just like to say that, it effectively uses the Nintendo DS split-screen layout. The top screen will frequently give you a map or tell you what you're supposed to do. I spent about half the time wandering around the levels and the other half fighting. The combat in the game isn't the most exciting in the world. It fits the title of the game, let's just say that. You select part of your mutant insect, and drag it towards the enemy. You can also dodge attacks, and when you land a certain number of attacks, you can then pull off like a special attack, which you can modify, so you can freeze your enemy or steal their health, light them on fire. Fun mutant stuff like that. For these are mutant insects, after all. If it was just battle of insects, that would be boring. It would be me stomping on ladybugs. Is that bad luck? What's that noise? I'm still here. Are you watching the combat? Like you'd expect, it does start off very easy and the enemies get more challenging later on. You have to actually use some timing. Initially I just wailed on the enemies and they finally died, but they get harder. And you've got to block, dodge attacks, and effectively upgrade your mutant insect in Battle of Giants Mutant Insects. Battle of Giants, Mutant, Mutated, Mutants. Just gonna throw that out there. It looks like there's a card game, too. It says, play games and collect cards at battleofgiantsgame.com. And there's more of these. On the back of the instruction manual, it says, Battle of Giants, Dragons. That also looks promising. These are rated E10+, plus for mild fantasy violence. Fantasy? Where the hell they came up with that word? 
Hey, a fly swatter. <laughs>